here we are. Good morning guys, welcome to the video. Today is the day one. We are starting prep technically tomorrow, but today my coach wanted my first set of weigh-ins, um, my first set of pitchers, and I'm gonna take some measurements today just to see where I'm starting at. Um, I have old measurements that I can compare from 2014, so it'll be interesting to see how those compare up to these ones, which I'll probably go over in another video. But uh, today we're gonna get the first weigh-in, and we're gonna get the first set of measurements, and then I'm gonna go through some posing to see where my starting point is. So let's go get that first weigh-in right now. Just for accuracy's sake, lose the shorts. One seventy-six on the dot. Let's see if I can get it before it goes away. Uh, kind of see it, kind of can't. One seventy-six point zero. Okay, first off, I just wanna just wanna let you know that this is some nasty bedhead. So please ignore that. Um, but one seventy-six, so that's a a good starting point. I think that might be the heaviest I've ever started at. I'll have to look back, look back through my notes, but usually somewhere between that mid one seventies. I've started prep at, and as you guys know, this whole year, basically since last November when I was on stage, I've kind of hung around this body weight. I did that little mini cut uh, sometime in the summer and lost like 10 pounds, which brought me to like the 170-ish. Um, and then for powerlifting, I kind of crept around the 180. But for the most part, this 175, 176, that's been my sweet spot, and that's where I've made most of my progress. And I think one thing people need to kind of start to get out of their head is, I need to get really big, I need to get a lot of weight on me, and that's gonna help me get, you know, grow and build muscle, and not necessarily the case all the time. I think for me, personally, when I hang around this body weight, and I'm eating enough to fuel growth, but not too much to fuel, like, a bunch of fat gain, like, I still have, like, decent abs, they're there. So, for me, it's like, okay, if I go up to, like, 180 or 180 plus, what is that doing for me? And I know that if I get higher than 180, it's 99% just fat. I'm at the point now in my lifting career when like a bunch of muscle gain just isn't realistic. If I'm gonna gain one or two pounds, it's gonna be over the course of like a year of steady, of a calorie surplus, good solid training, quality recovery. Whereas if I go up over like that 180 pound mark, it's just gonna be extra fluff that when I start dieting this time, uh, it's just more work to get off. So I'd rather stay in this area, make steady progress that's maybe a little bit slower, but it's quality, right? Just seeing that number get up to 180 is not an indicator that I've added, you know, from 176 to 180, that's not four pounds of muscle. It might be like 0.2 pounds, so. Just food for thought, guys. I want you to think about that. If you're into, uh, you know, trying to build as much muscle as you can, maybe getting the fat with it, to a certain extent is okay, but a little bit beyond that at this stage of my career, it's probably not the best of ideas. So we're gonna go through some posing right now and then we'll take some measurements. Okay, so all we're gonna do is just the mandatory poses. We'll go through all the basics first, just to see where I'm at. So posing wise, we always start from the ground, walk those legs in, front relaxed first. Go to turn to the right, get the side relaxed again, start with the legs. Everything's tight. Core turn again, back relax. Make sure the elbows are nice and wide, hold the lats up. Core turn again, side relaxed. Back to the front. Okay, front double bicep, again. Start with the legs. I like to go with the leg out. A little more aesthetic. I don't know if you heard that noise. That was the dog running around upstairs. <laughs> He's a little rambunctious at 7.30 in the morning. Light spread. Turn, maybe relax. They might not call it, but we'll do it anyways. Side chest. This is always my better side, which is nice because it's the side without tattoos, so it shows the muscle a little bit better. 
but it just feels more comfortable to pose on and kind of more developed, I think. Sometimes we'll hit them with this side shot, get the obliques, which are covered. <laughs> side tricep. Sometimes leg in front. Then go to the back. Relax again. Back double bicep. Start with the floor, squeezing the glutes, hamstrings. Big reach. Probably relax again for a second. Back lat spread. Pull back. And open. Let me come around. Ab and thigh, and I've been working on the vacuum. It's not perfect, but it's coming. So again, lock those legs in. Give them one of these. The crowd, for some reason, likes the little shaky thigh. Fully exhale. It's coming. It's coming. And the last one, most muscular. I like to go with just the nice, straight, symmetrical. And I don't have traps, but somewhat like that. Okay, so we're gonna take some measurements. Uh, we're gonna do shoulders, so all the way around, chest, core, or waist, I guess, quads, calves, and then biceps and forearms. So the last time I took these was 2014, I think, and I still have it on a notepad on my phone, so it'd be cool to go back and check those out now. I don't have one of those bendy tape measures. I have this regular old toolbox one that I've straightened out. I'm gonna put that down and then found a shoelace <laughs> that I'm gonna use to measure with. So will these be perfect? No, um, but I'm doing it myself and I'm gonna do the best I can. So I'm gonna start with shoulders, go all the way around. Put this right there. Boom. So for shoulders, we are 49 inches for the shoulders. For the chest, well chest now I guess. For the chest, which includes the lats. Key here is to try to relax. Right arm is 17. Let's see if I'm symmetrical. Left arm is 16 and a quarter. Woo! Gotta work on that. Forearms, just for giggles. Can't imagine they're much more than 11 or 12. symmetrical biceps are not so for quads we're gonna go right from my fingertips okay so for me the fingertips right there Put 
23 on the left. And Cavs, the worst one. Fifteen. And fifteen. So Cavs are symmetrical. Fantastic. Still small though. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed this little update video today. Uh, so I'm going to send my photos off to my coach, send in my first weigh-in, and then officially he's going to send me the plan probably today, and I'll fire that up tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually day one of prep. Um, we've got like 28, 27 weeks. We haven't officially got the date for the show. Uh, I just know it'll be mid-April will be the first one. Um, he said, I was asking him yesterday, and he said the last show ends in like November. So he said usually they release the schedule for the next year after that. So come November we should have an official date but it's usually the same time every year so it's either 20 or 27 weeks which is still plenty of time for me to get down to where I need to be um, tentatively getting into for sure under 154 that's the bottom line I will be lightweights again I haven't grown that much to kick myself out of lightweights um, and and maybe we get super lean into the 140s I don't know uh, one of my buddies messaged me yesterday after I posted some pictures and was like you got too much muscle for the 140s but We'll see. It's all about getting super lean and, and having the muscle under there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, today we've got legs on schedule and one more day of kind of eating a little bit more freely. And then tomorrow it's game on. So, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, follow the journey to the stage. Because this is the start. Thanks again, guys. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.